Time machine required. Well, good. Because we did that. <laughs> Finally, it's day 100, and the time gate is supposed to open today. The time machine built by me and Ami is also ready. Oh, we're so dramatic. We just brought the supplies. <laughs> Does she have to dress so, like, fucking like, ugly? Like freaking, what's his name from Assassin's Creed? Ezio? No, the... Oh, uh, D Dunbar. No. Dude... Desmond. Desmond. Desmond, she the most like boring, the most plain man in the world. She looks like Desmond. Karen is going back to the future today. Everyone at the model agency comes to say goodbye to Karen. They have no questions about what the future is like, or how she got here, or if she was basement slaved. Basement enslaved. I'm sorry. Proper syntax is important. Goodbye, guys. It's sad I won't be able to come back again. But why not? You have a time machine. <laughs> but I will always remember everything that happened at this time period, working on my original mission and becoming a gravure model. Hey, wait a second. Do you remember anything at... <laughs> hey, wait a second. Do you remember anything at my basement at all? Nope, nothing at all. I told you many times and you're still asking. <laughs> I wish we'd gotten to hear some of those conversations. I want to... Because I, I do want to know if she remembers. Uh, Karen turns around and gets on the time machine. A drop of a drop of tear comes down her cheek. She, she does remember. Of course I remember, silly. But I do not belong here. I must go back. There are so many good girls here waiting for you. Goodbye, my dear love. Karen shouts to everyone. Hey guys, take care. I will miss you all. Please don't forget me. Stepping on the time machine, Karen crushes it and can never go home. Then she steps in the time machine. Karen decided <laughs> to keep the secret in her heart forever. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one, go! go! It just bursts into flames. <laughs> no! <laughs> the time machine disappeared into the air. Ellipsis. This is your line? <laughs> <sighs> I have to do the voices for all the characters. No. I know, I know. Puts his arm around everyone, including his teacher. Hugs them to death. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. <laughs> Jump to. Time, time leap. Two months later. One day I walked around <laughs> at the slums after school, <laughs> reminiscing about Karen. Katomi went to Germany. Tomoko decided to stay with Ryuji at the end. Oh, bullshit. I tried to go out with Ami, but it didn't work well. What? That's the ending we chose. Uh, we still see each other as buddies. There's really no chemistry between us. At the end, we decided to keep our friendship. So this is like the fuck you ending. Well, we don't know yet. Something's about to happen. Something always happens in the slums when we're just staring at nothing. Someone has to appear and say something to us. I think of Karen again. I'm wondering how she's doing in the future. Will she get a promotion? Will she get Mary? <laughs> I want to get Mary. Oh, thank you. Eating arrow chocolate. I thought of so many possibilities. After a long time, I felt tired, and I leaned against a broken wall. And I found some drawings on the wall. These drawings were everywhere at the slums. But there is one that really captures my attention. Oh, no! Some people said a picture is worth a thousand words. I believed it now. So really, that is what the ending is. It's the, you should have stuck with Karen ending. Wow, yeah, if I had played this whole game and not saved, I probably would have felt horrible. It was me and Karen with the bar, with the, it was me and Karen with the broom, holding hands together. She drew the broom. And a big heart between us. This reminds me of the picture of the, uh, of, like, the Skull Kid from frickin' uh, Majora's Mask that's, like, carved into a tree. Anyways, there were a few more drawings, and they were all about the moments we had when she was living in my basement. Oh, no. God, he says it so... <laughs> she, remembered all of... she remembered every single details, and she just lied to me. A crazy idea came to mind. Please, Ami. Please. Help me one more time. Oh my gosh. No way, I'm not gonna build another time machine for you. Don't you remember? The UN guy from the future told you Karen's travel was the very last time. Well, you know what? 
I tried to make things work with you. I chose you, and you just refused. And you've already got your stupid goggle thing on. <laughs> There's no turning back. And by the way, I literally brought you every single supply you needed. My life is ruined. I need to go to the future. I need to see Karen. She remembers the broom. She remembers the broom and the basement and the sleeping forest. And I need her. I need her back. I mean, honestly, how could you forget the sleeping forest, but... It's where we taught her her first lesson. <clears throat> and they would stop any... And they would stop any unauthorized time traveling. Who knows what will happen? They may give you a capital punishment for breaking the law. You're gonna spell my punishment with a capital? I begged Tommy for almost two months to help me rebuild the time machine. I want to go find Karen. My true love in the future. So now this is four months later. Because it already <laughs> said already two, months two months later. Yeah. Ami, you don't have to help me. But do you want to see me in despair for the rest of my life? Dot, dot, dot. Silence. Finally, Ami agreed to build a new time machine. With the previous experience, it only took us six weeks to build a new time machine. So now it's been... That's another two months, right? Six Almost, weeks. nearly. That's, that's like, another month and a half. Yeah, it's all, so, <laughs> so it's been like five and a half months. Yeah. All right. Nearly six months without, <laughs> without Karen. I want to ask you one last time. Do you still want to go to the future to find Karen? It, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It may be a suicidal mission. I smiled. Thanks for everything you did for me, Ami. Now, just wish me luck to find her. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, go! Ah! <laughs> Gone. <laughs> wish you all the best. I'm always on your side. On, ugh. Wish you all the best. I'm always on your side. Who you all? I think it's all of her best she's wishing us. That doesn't translate. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Even though you always liked other girls, Tomoko, Katami, and now Karen, I am always the supporting character in your world. We Ooh! chose you! We chose you! We chose you, Ami, and you refused. But as long as you are happy, I wish nothing but the best for you. We chose you. All that ending told us was that you didn't want us. Yeah, so what happens if we choose Karen? It's like you should have chose the Ami ending. That's how you get to be with Karen. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Ami passed out. She worked so hard on her projects before Valentine's Day, and when she was about to take a rest, she was asked to build another time machine. Did she die of exhaustion? What do you mean before Valentine's Day? If the final day is Valentine's Day, if day 100 and Valentine's Day, this is five and a half months after that. So that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it was accidental, the saying, uh, two months later, and really, it was the same day when we asked her to build the machine. But that doesn't make sense, because we no. had to have time to get sad about it. Yeah. And go through the slums, and then it took another weeks to build the time machine. Yeah, it's been almost six months. So, it's at least three and a half months. At most, five and a half months. But there's no... There's, it's not any less than three and a half months. Her body had collapsed. <laughs> collapsed. Collapsed. Her body had collapsed a long time ago. It was her mind that kept her up to this point. After the new time machine left, she finally fell down. Oh no, are we just going to find her in the future as a skeleton? Jesus. Two oh, more we... weeks later. I came back from the future. I found Karen, but she had a new boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no. Already. After all, we knew each other for less than 100 days. <laughs> you got that right. It was more like a lust instead of true love. What do you mean more like? It was absolutely lust. Why not just send if not us something worse? Well, I blame Ami. She should have sent us back to the day that Karen got to the future. Then she wouldn't have time to find a new boyfriend. I mean, that's true, but who's to say that we didn't choose the time we went forward? None of this makes any sense. It's this not our time. We don't know how to work a time machine. We built it with her. She helped. We just brought stuff. Okay. Maybe I should go find Ami. She has put a lot of effort into this time. Into this and I should report to her about my time trip. Oh, this is gonna be sad. How was the future? Hey, Ami. Oh, no. Where is she? Oh, no. I couldn't find Ami at her place. When I was about to leave, I saw a pink notebook that I'd never seen before. We knew, knew each other so long that I was familiar with everything about her. Well, supposedly. Supposedly. See, why well, this should have dramatic music. I just took a quick look at the notebook. It was actually a diary. Which girl would write a diary on a notebook? She was really a workaholic. 
I didn't get that last part. No, neither did I. Like a notebook and like a... well, uh, as opposed to what? What would you write a diary in if it wasn't a notebook? Yeah, I don't know. Loose paper? Maybe they're maybe a notebook is different than just like a. Maybe she means like a. Maybe the person meant like a binder. Yeah. But that's not a binder, so I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Oh no. Day one, sunny. I had to wake up that pig this I, morning. Well, shouldn't this be me? Since I'm oh, oh, I didn't realize it was the, the diary. I thought something weird was happening. Okay, oh. yeah, yeah. Continue. Sorry. D day one, Sonny. I had to wake that pig up this morning. He forgot school completely. Idiot. Tongue out face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> face. Day 12, clear. I think he has a crush on Katami, but the poor guy never knows how to impress a girl. Hmm. <laughs> Well, being the wonderful friend that I am, I'm going to help him. This is going to be fun. Just like one of those sappy movies. Hee hee hee. Oh, Sim Man, you couldn't write a sappy movie. Day 20. Cloudy. I met him for lunch today. He ate everything in about five seconds flat. He always loved junk food. I can. It's like I can hear his artery, arteries clogging with every bite. Oh man, I'm getting cravings for health food just thinking about it. This is not very romantic. No. Day 36. Rainy. He's getting more popular with the girls. Oh, so if it's rainy, was this the day that we, like, got to Moco? I mean, the day doesn't match up, but it was raining. There's something different about him. When I met him in the library after class, I felt kind of nervous, and I don't know why. This was, like, the first time I had ever had trouble talking to him. The feeling was so weird. Maybe that's the first time we talked to her after we've been shot up by the DNA gun. I don't think any of these events happened. Well... I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that these events, like, aren't real. He was so tired that he slept in class today. I kept catching myself staring at him. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't stop thinking about him. Kotami says that he's all I talk about lately, and looking back on my diary... He's all I write about, too. All signs point to, well, love. <laughs> but that can't be right. He's my best friend. What's going on here? Day 78. Stormy. Today was the first time I ever cried over a guy. I saw him with Katami in the hallway, and it was a thousand... It was like a thousand spears piercing into my heart. A thousand black spears. God, I can't stand this. Why do I feel jealous? They are both my friends. I should be happy for them. Day 99, Windy. He asked me a... What? That didn't happen on day 99. Happened on... Well, you can assume it happened on day 100, right? So... I guess, I but he asked me out to go on the Valentine... He asked me to go out on the Valentine's Day. I felt like I'm floating. If suddenly <laughs> I dropped dead... If suddenly I dropped dead right this second, that would be fine with me. Wait, what am I saying? I... I would miss him then. Lol. I still can't believe this. We've been friends for exactly 13 years and 108 days now. After so long, we're in love. So this is what we wanted to see happen. Well, sort of. What's on his mind exactly? Maybe he asked me because we're just buddies. Maybe he just helps me to complete the time machine because of Karen. No, we started building that damn time machine before you knew about Karen and before we knew about Karen. Yeah, we didn't know we could send her back to the future. Yeah, that was your idea, not ours. Crazy girl. Arguing with a diary while we're just standing around. Chaz is crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, shuts the book. <laughs> Maybe he just asked me because he felt sorry for me. Stop it, Ami. You're ruining what should be the best day of your life. You'll find out soon. Day, tw day 126, <laughs> Cloudy. He asked me to build a new time machine for Karen. Okay, this doesn't match up. 26 days later is not three and a half months. <laughs> oh my gosh. You I should not be expecting an accurate timeline from this game. But it's not even, it's not even like it's inaccurate by like a day or two. It's off by like weeks. Maybe he wrote it all at different times. He was just like, what's a good dramatic t like time break? Two months, yeah, that's good. How about two more months right here? That, that fits Six well. weeks. <laughs> Six weeks, now two weeks. I'm extremely tired lately and I think I need to take a break soon or else I can't stop at the moment. I know this is the only thing that'll make him happy again. I will still try my best. So, were we just really cold and awful to her? I thought she was not connecting with us. Who knows? I think we're both crazy. Well, that's... <clears throat> oh, it's us as being kids. Oh, and we still have our glasses on. <laughs> we still have cool glasses. What did she do? Scoop sand on our head? That's a... That's a feather. She's gonna tickle us. Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't. 
No, the re- the real the real mystery is who this character is. <laughs> like, obviously, this is us with the glasses and the hair, but who's this little boy with us? Yeah, is this <laughs> is this no no Ryuji? <laughs> <laughs> Ryuji, why are you wearing a woman's one piece? He's gender challenged. He's a they. No, we know it's Ami. <laughs> this is you, Ami. I didn't know what to say anymore. Ami did everything for me. She helped me with my schoolwork, she helped me with my girls, and she helped me to catch my dream. But I... Uh, <laughs> but end I, video. <laughs> but I... Oh. <laughs> but I never truly appreciated her. So it was our fault. This is some Chris Nolan bullshit. We you know can't just skip be... time and then fill in what happened afterwards. You know what's going to be really sad? When we come out of the, the house and trip over her skeleton. <laughs> I need to find her. I went to the school and found out the bad news. About two weeks ago, someone found Ami in the slums and took her to the hospital. Oh, that's a little disappointing. She was unconscious till now, as if she just fell asleep and refused to wake up again. Oh, I wonder if True Love's kiss will bring her back. She must be very tired. I wonder if we get to give her because the, of me. I wonder if we get to give her the D in the hospital. The fucking sleep. Our sleeping dog. <laughs> our watchdog. <laughs> Our freaking, uh, make our ubi soft and ubi hard. Her doctor said they had never experienced any case like this. Chances were she would never wake up again. I thought I just said she wasn't conscious until now. Didn't that mean she woke up? I think it meant she was... She's been unconscious up till now? Yeah. Still okay. You know what, Sin Man has problems with plurals, so why are we like expecting so much <laughs> out of him? Just forget about it. I thought the only thing that could change this ending for Ami was the time machine again. The last time machine was confiscated by the future's government, and they sent me back to this time by their own device. Yeah, they don't even need a time machine. They can just kind of warp us back, Star Trek style, like beam us into the past. I will need to build the third time machine all by myself. It's mission impossible, but since Ami has done a lot for me, I will have to do this, no matter what. To the mall! <laughs> Quick, I need diamonds, flowers, <laughs> medicine, wipes, coffee, and bears. <laughs> Stat. Since that day, I spent almost 24-7 working on the time machine. I read all the notes left by Ami carefully. I realized that I'd never fully understood Ami up till this point. <laughs> she writes in scribbles. <laughs> Later on, other girls came to help me as well. Katami also came back from Germany because of Ami. Well, Bullshit, she just fucking gave up on her dream. Well, I think it's better to give up on her dream because her childhood friend is dying than to give up on her dream because of a boy who's a rapist. Yeah, that's, you're probably right. How can you do this without us? Ami is our best friend, too. Oh, this is oh, you. Tomoko and Akira, you're like a huge slight... How you can know. you do this without us? Akira has outstanding IQ, only second to Ami. She's the... She's Ami's teacher. Kotomi has an excellent EQ, only second to Ami, so that she won't give up easily. I don't know what the hell EQ is. <laughs> Intelligence quotient. <laughs> Okay, um, next. Tomoko cooks for us and takes care of all other tasks at the middle, <laughs> at the model agency. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, make something for us to yeah, eat. Yeah, go, just go busy. <laughs> go get, make yourself busy. Plus, I have experiences with the two previous time machines. After a year of hard work from everyone, we failed at the end. <laughs> Only Ami could build this. This is reality and not some comic story. Happy ending is not guaranteed. <laughs> I think the moral of the story is, cherish the moment. If you miss it, you will never have another chance. I can only pray for some miracles to happen. I went to Sim Man's Mystic Shop. Hey, I understood the situation. I think the Starlight of Hope may help you. Oh, can it, like, time travel us? I never believe... Oh, no, this is you, I think, still. Is it? Okay, let me, let me read no, it first. No, this is you. I never believe in Sim Man and his toys. He's just screwing us all the time. But this time, I really have no choice. Oops. You should have faith in him. He gives you a lot of tests, but at the end, he will give you something... Uh, he'll give you what you want. Well, maybe. Uh, yeah. If I could start over again, I would love Ami from day one. Literally. 
the starlight of hope grows. I hear a voice. It may be Sim Man or Sana. I don't know. Well, we're gonna do Sim Man. Good, Good luck! <laughs> you are ready to have the chance to restart your life again, but this will be the last time. Cherish every moment with your love, or else you will regret. Okay. I hope this didn't wipe our save. I really hope that's not what just happened. I don't think it is, but... <laughs> Wake up, Chaz Webster. <laughs> get up, get up. This is the first day of the winter semester, so don't be late for school. Ah, me. What? I love you! Mm -hmm. Don't fool around with me again or I'll kick your ass. You're gonna kill myself. I'll kick you ass. Ami blushed and walked away. I jumped out from the bed and followed Ami. My yam dick knocked her to the ground. Ami, starting from this moment, I won't go for any other girls, and I won't let you work on your project alone again. After going for so many different types of girls, and all these trials and errors, I think I've learned something about love. Tomoko made me realize how important trust and forgiveness are, because no one is born to perfect. <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin the moment. Karen and Katami made me believe that time and distance are not an obstacle to love. This sounds like a general ending. Like that you get after every person's story. Ami, my true love, made me understand appreciation in love. I will cherish the current relationship and never let it slip again. Finally, Sim Man, the hentai bastard, <laughs> by giving us another hope, chance to start by, by giving us another chance to start over our relationship, he shown me there is always hope. I'll never give up on my quest to true love. Thanks to Sim Man, all the Sim Girls. Thanks to Sim Man and all the Sim Girls. This is the end and also the new beginning. I will make every day count from now on. The end. Aww. Aww, they're kissing in the back. Well, that was Ami's ending. That was pretty sweet. That, that end was not... You sweet. know what? It After was... the whole game, that was actually kind of refreshing. That was... It was surprising. Like, I didn't think... Like, and it actually made sense, too. Like, because, well, like... Well, Katami, it didn't make that much sense. It made more sense. Like, I mean, that just that last monologue. Like, Katami actually does kind of represent distance, because she moves. She moves to Germany. Karen but it says that, like, it's not an obstacle, whereas the whole thing is, if you <laughs> if you love her, you'll ask her to stay. Yeah. So that then it would be an obstacle, but we haven't seen her ending yet. So, instead of analyzing it now, and by analyzing, I mean analyzing, we're going <laughs> to... Check out the next video! No!